Hello, 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 people! Welcome back, finally, to Last Day of Survival. I'm back in single player for once, and I'm going on a raid. My original plan for the video was to clear out the lab using only Glocks, apart from a couple scars on the Necrotic Hybrid, and then to do a couple runs at the farm. However, after doing all of that, I then realised I forgot to click record. So, let me just double check. Okay, I am recording this time. Oh, we're going to raid whoever the hell that is. So I've cleared out the lab, and it's on the reset, and I didn't record it, and I've done the farm as well. So everything is going absolutely wonderfully today. I just had a raid of a base called Burger King that was also failed to record. And that was even more annoying, as it was a really good raid, and I didn't scout it first, and there was a box full of paint. Green paint and yellow, which I really need. And I couldn't grab any of it. So now, we are in this lovely base with a name that I couldn't type. I'm about to starve, and... Oh, and I forgot to bring all of my axes and C4. Now, this is what you get for not preparing. Okay, um... Balls. Give me one minute. Okay, I've grabbed a few bits from my inbox. Oh, there's a turret behind that wall. Okay, let's do this. That turret's increasing the noise, so we need to get it destroyed ASAP. Is that a tripwire behind that? That is. Okay, this is going to be an annoying base to raid. Calling it now. So every single wave of zombies, we're going to have to get back out this door. Otherwise, they're going to be walking on that tripwire and just murderizing me. Okay, right. I'll take that, I'll take that. Um, let's see what's behind these twig walls. Uh, this is what you get for not scouting. Alright, let's grab another C4. And with the C4, are we going to blow up a box as well? I think so. Now we come back out. Oh, and there's a welcome mat. Okay, so it is kind of looking like I have possibly just screwed up another potentially really good raid. Oh, so I've been vaguely planning out a video, which is killing every single boss in the game in a nice, I don't know, music-y time-lapse. Right. Okay, I don't like this. This looks like I've just completely messed up another good raid. I'll take some of these. Bit of food. Ooh, I like it when I get an axe. Okay, um, I'm going to grab some more C4. Yeah, and everybody, this is why you research a base on YouTube. We call this method the uh, I effed up method, which is where you just don't research anything after complaining about messing up a raid by not researching anything because it had a difficult name to spell. God's sake, and my armor's breaking as well. Oh, I've really messed up this raid, haven't I? Ooh. Oh, they've got two. Ah, oh, six copper bars and two generators. I am very, very, very tempted to kill myself on some spikes if there are any, so I can get both gen. No, I don't need both generators. Don't risk mess. Don't risk losing the raid. Okay. Cool. I really hate how slow I walk with this. Also, I yeah, I definitely think I need to drop by Mr. Zombie Industries' YouTube channel and streams a lot more often because I used to think I was good at raiding. I obviously haven't done it for a while. Batteries! I need you. I need you more than anything else right now, apart from those copper bars. Yeah, so... Uh, Z-I-Z, however you want to say his name, is an absolute demon on raids. I'll chuck a link to his channel in the description below the video, but 100% go and have a look at his channel. He is... He puts my raiding abilities to absolute shame. Okay, let's try this. What we're going to do is just weaken all of these boxes. So it's just two hits with our axe. And we're obviously going to open the red box first. Because, you know, why would you paint a box that hasn't got your best stuff in it? So this one will get a triple tap. And it's not that good. Okay, no zombies coming. Let's 
still no zombies coming. We're looking okay so far. Mm. I don't want to grab any of this stuff just in case. So let's see what we got. Take that, I'll take that, I'll take that, I'll take that. Oh. Um. Ah! Run away! Run away, run away, run away. Don't like it. <laughs> oh my god. Every single raid I've had lately, I had an absolute string in a row of just awful, awful raids. And then my last about four or five have been really good raids. And I've managed to somehow mess up every single one of them. Right. That is Dian Mai Zan. Or however that is pronounced. Dian Mai Zan. Sure, whatever. Let's go with that. That sounds good enough for me. So, I'm recording the whole video because I haven't streamed for a while. And I'm going to away for four days at the start of this coming week, so Monday through Thursday, to go and see my family because I haven't seen them for literally like 18 months because of COVID. So I'm also not going to be able to stream whilst I'm away. So I figured I should at least have something to post whilst I'm gone. Right, here we go. Look at this. This is lovely. Batteries are the one thing I'm... One battery. I hate this game. Right, that goes in there. All of my axes. Lovely, I actually ended up with more axes than I took in the first place. And we'll grab the bits out of the chopper. And then I'm thinking I might just turn around and go straight back out on another raid. I'll do all of the raider tasks like, off camera. Skip the ones that I can't do because farm and stuff have reset already. So I will be back in... Yeah, I'll be back in a minute. Okay, I'm back. How's about we go raiding? Sound good? Sounds good to me. Right, I've also got the game in 60 FPS mode right now, and it's running very smoothly. If anyone wonders how to do that, you open the settings, and you hold down on this bottom corner here for about 8 to 10 seconds, and then you release it. Oh, I didn't hold it down long enough. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 5,000, 6,000, 7,000, 8,000. Boom! You come up with this option, and you can toggle 60 F mode. 60 FPS mode on and off. There we go. And voila, this is what the game is like in 60 FPS. I think it is absolutely beautiful. I mean, it looks the same. Also, I kind of want to upgrade all of the walls around here to be steel, just so it matches with the aesthetic of the actual internal garage. Anyway, let's go raid and see what we get. I'm calling it now. This race is going to be a player something. This race, this raid, I mean. And it will be nothing good. Oh, we are raiding Chiara. That's a base with a name. And um, whilst we're doing that, I'm going to hop over to YouTube. Okay, looking like it's a good base. And let's see what they're getting from here. Okay, so. I, it really bugbears me. When people do raid videos, but they and they get to a box, but they don't open the box straight away. So there is a box in this room here. However, I don't know if I need to go in there. Let's take a look. What are they getting in there? Oh my god, open the box! There we go. Right, so the box in this room has med kits. I do not need med kits, so we're good for now. Let's see. Right, we want to go through here into this room, and it is where we'll locate a bunch of boxes. Boom. Wonderful. I really wish the look around skill, you stayed zoomed out until you moved again. Instead of it just automatically switching back in. I'll take a bunch of food. Always good to get a bit of food, a bit of grub in ya. Die, 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 die. I really do love the VSS. It's so, so powerful. And I just realised the game, game sound was very loud on the recording. So... I apologise if that has been horrible to listen to for the last however long this video has been. Ten minutes. Ooh, hello. I'll take that copper. Um, and I'll take some nails. Lovely. Right, allegedly there are guns in this space as well. And there they are. Right, okay, let's store some stuff in our chopper. 
Oh, that's a little fast bite ahead right there. Oh, they've even got an ATV that is nowhere near completed. Okay. I really, really, really want the devs to do an update to raiding. It's been the same for so long now. We just need a little bit of change. Just something to change it up a little bit. And let's stash all the soup. Right, I think there were some petrol cans in that box, as well as, obviously, the guns. And I'm not sure where it is that we need to break into next. Okay, so they didn't break into any other section. However, that doesn't mean there's no loot out there. So let's give it a go and see what happens, because we've got noise here to play with. Right, this section is completely empty. We know there's a box with medkits in it. And obviously I've got a bunch of um, axes on me that I can just throw away. Right, let's get 2C4. Alright, let's go into this section. It's looking like... I was about to say there might be a dog crate in there, but no. Okay, that just leads into empty space. And let's go into this section. And I think that'll be, what, 1, 2, 3, 4 C4 used? Boom! That is a lot of C4 to use on one raid. Hey, zombies. Wonderful. Uh, they're still taking their while to get around. Is this gonna... No, it's not even... Wow, so... Using 4C4 and breaking open every single box in this base still isn't enough to... Hang on, let's, let's try and do wall trick here. Let's be cool, kids. Woo! I did it! I'm proud of me, Mum. Uh, of course she's not. Right. And let's get that, and get that. Awesome. You know what? This was a cracking raid. I mean, okay, so that was one, two, three, four C4 used for it. But you know what? I'll take that. Definitely worth it. I don't want any of that, do I? No, not really. Okay, and there we are. Right. I am very happy with that, and you know what, just before the video ends, I want to take a moment to talk about two things. One of which I created and entirely in control of, and the other is just something that I think is cool. So we'll start with the one I think is cool. So, for the crater in the um, multiplayer side of the game, someone has set up a Discord server specifically for trading items there. So for doing trades there, you leave your clan, you go to their clan, and you exchange your items through clan storage, or they come to your clan and do the same. Which is cool, so I'm putting a link for the clan trade for that in the description. Uh, so far it's just literally, I think I was the first person he invited to it, because I did some trades with him. So, yep, that's the thing. And also, I made a website called theoutpost.news. Oh, I can't type. Theoutpost.news. There we go. I will... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's see if... There we go. So I was trying to set up mid-recording a separate window capture so you can see the website. Voila! This is a website that I have created. It is called The Outpost. Um, it's mostly just a side little passion project because I absolutely love writing. I haven't really added much to here yet. So the last fully-fledged article I did was the leaks to the May update. Obviously, that was quite a while ago. However, I have got a few different things on here, like simple guide to events, an apartment upgrade guide. Let's take a look. So, you click on it. We get this lovely... And voila! Simple guide to events. We have the airdrop, the dealer, list all the deals, the crash plane, the oak clearing, rest stop. Voila! And then... Wait, here we go. Here we go, here we go. Archive. So. Yeah. Little, little website I made. And I am in the process of writing more articles to add to it. As well as guides, for example, for killing all the bosses. So I'm going to have individual guides for the witch, the blind one, the big one, the necrotic hybrid, carrion mark seven, the ravager... Ooh, the Devourer, the Miner, and I think that's all of them. Uh, the Lurker, and I guess the Zombie Bear, but I'm not sure I would count that as a boss or the Lurker. However, yeah, so, this is a website I've created. If you are at all interested in writing, and would like to have anything you've written posted to the website, and if you'd like to have a go at writing something for Last Enough, 
then please either leave a comment below or use the contact form on the website and then, yeah, let me know. I think that's everything. Right, back to the game. Load into the base and then we'll say goodbye from there. The music in this game I still find very annoying. Also, if there are any specific things you would like to see guides for, either in video or on um, the website format, or, an, or a combination, so the guide that has the video to go with it to enhance the experience, then please let me know because, yeah, this is something I really enjoy doing. Right, I hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day, night, morning, afternoon, sleep, whatever you're doing after this. I will see you all later. Thank you very much for watching. Goodbye.